chicken sandwiches and I'm gonna tell you they're gonna rival any of the top guys but I'm not gonna say their names because I don't know about copyrights I don't want to make anybody sad over there but um, you can have this wonderful fried chicken sandwich on Sundays that's all I'm saying so the first step is we have to get our chicken cut up into pieces that will fit on the bun the important thing is is that they're all about the same size same thickness so they all cook it evenly so I've got my pieces all cut and then they are about the same size but just to make sure I'm going to pound them out a little bit and actually even make the chicken a little tender. I'm gonna use my mallet. And we're going to marinate these in buttermilk. It's best if you do it the day before, but if you don't have time or you're thinking later, do this uh, in the morning or afternoon before you're gonna make them. I am going to make these later tonight for dinner, and right now it's about uh, 10 in the morning, so I've got my chicken, and I'm just going to soak it in buttermilk. Alright, we're getting ready to fry the chicken now. We've had it sitting in the buttermilk all day. I've got peanut oil heating up. I like to use peanut oil because it uh, has the higher smoking point. Smoking point means when the oil starts to burn, so the peanut oil is good for this. Um, you want a neutral oil that doesn't have too much flavor. Uh, canola oil would work, vegetable oil would work, but olive oil would not work for this. So we're going to season our flour while we wait for our oil to heat up. And we're going to start with uh, 8 cups of flour. I've got uh, 2 tablespoons of salt and a half a tablespoon of black pepper. I'm going to do a half a tablespoon of adobo. Not necessary if you don't have it, but if you have it, it's nice to add in there. We're going to do a tablespoon of granulated garlic. We're going to do a tablespoon of dry herbs. I've got basil and thyme and oregano in here. And then we're going to do a quarter, uh, let's call this, call that half a teaspoon paprika. We're going to mix all that up in the flour. And then we're going to take our buttermilk chicken. We're going to dip it in this flour mixture, and we're going to go into the oil. So we are going to take a look, see if our oil is up to 350 yet. Notice that I have a nice deep pot here, and my oil's way down in there, because if any of this starts splashing around, at those temperatures you are going to have some problems. So we're just going to take the chicken out into the flour. Pat it down in there. Get it coated up real nice. We hear that bubbling and we see that sizzling. That's what we're looking for. Take a look in there. Mm 
I'm going to be working in batches here. We don't want to overstuff this pot because two things are going to happen. We want all our surface areas of the chicken to get nice and crispy. Now, if we put the chicken packed on top of each other, the oil's not going to be able to fry it up nice. The other thing that's going to happen is if we put too much product in the oil, we're going to cool the oil down, and it's not going to be hot enough to get a nice crispy chicken. While that chicken's frying up, we're going to make a little sauce that I like to put on my chicken sandwich. I'm going to do a three nice heaping tablespoons of mayonnaise, and then about one big spoonful of Dijon mustard and I just mix that all together that will be the sauce for our fried chicken sandwich I think this first batch of chicken is ready to come out Oh yeah, looking nice. Fried chicken is probably one of the greatest foods in the world. I think bacon number one and fried chicken number two. And now I just come right in with my next batch. Be careful here, make sure you got a good grip on the chicken because if the chicken falls from you, from way up here, that oil's gonna splash up and get you. Great trick, so when you get close to where everything's almost ready, let's say you were cooking something in your oven, it's out of the oven now, the oven's off, but it's still nice and warm. It's like, still like 200 degrees in there. So if you're taking the time to get everything organized, but you wanna keep everything hot, just keep it in the oven. It's still now warm. time to put some chicken sandwiches together. We got our third batch. Ooh, that was hot. But that's how we like it. We got our third batch of chicken coming out. And I've done with this with the last two batches. I'm going to check the thickest piece. And I'm going to get in the thickest part. And I want to see if the chicken is cooked. And it is. Because let me tell you what. I don't think there's anything more disgusting than raw chicken. Nobody wants to eat raw chicken. So we got our fried chicken ready to roll. We're going to make some sandwiches. We got the Dijon mayo on one side, a couple of pickles, fried chicken. Thanks for watching. Now you're a pro. You can make your fried chicken sandwiches at home anytime you want. Nothing's stopping you. So give me the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to hit the bell, you get notifications. And I'd love if you leave a comment and let me know videos you'd like to see or any questions you got on what you saw there, and I will answer them for you. And until then, adios, muchachos! Fried chicken tonight, fried chicken tonight.